Go for main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, and lift off. Hi there, my name is Sam, and today I'm excited to introduce the all new countdown element. It's a staple in the e-commerce world, and this countdown is both easy to use and 100% customizable. Navigate to the insert panel, under elements and interactive, you will find the brand new countdown element. You can then drag and drop this element anywhere you want on the canvas, and I will drop it right in between this text element and the button. There we have it. With the countdown element, there are two types of countdown events that you can create. You can either set a due date, for example, to count down when a new product is launching, or you can set a specific time. For example, when your sale runs for three days, you can set the time to three days. Now let's dive into the specifics. With due date, you can set a specific date on the calendar view. Whenever you do that, the time will also reflect live in the countdown element on the canvas, as you can see right here. Next to the date picker, you can choose your time zone, whichever time zone is relevant for you. And then of course the time. Then for the other option, which is time, you can set the amount of hours and minutes. In addition, you can also enable reset. With reset, you can determine whether the time will reset when someone reloads the page. So when there are five minutes left and someone lands on your page, the time will of course count down. Then a little bit later when you reload the page, the time will still count down normally. However, when you enable reset on reload, the timer will be back at five minutes, which is useful in some cases. In addition, we can also show one digit or two digits. So I will set the due date to the 30th of October Change the time a little bit to 12. So right now it's showing two digits. For example, we have eight days and it showcases 08. When we change the digits to one, it will only showcase one digit, as you can see right here. To style the countdown element, you simply select one of the layers. So right here in the layer panel, you can see that the days layer is selected. Then this days layer has a fill color, as you can see right here, when we delete it, the fill color is gone. We add it back, there it is. And then the count and label can also be styled individually right here in the style panel. Good to know in case you accidentally delete a time unit is that you can add it back. And to do so, you head over to the layer panel, you select the countdown layer, then you right click, and then you have the option to add back the different time units. Now I will style the countdown element a little bit and here we have the final result. Then when we preview, of course, the countdown will count down and that's it for this video. So I hope you have a good understanding of this new feature and stay tuned for more product updates.